Pali Emerging Leaders Program where we will take young political leaders from across Nepal, from east to west, north to south, from all different ethnic backgrounds, different political parties, put them together in one room uh, four times a year. The first we did this week in Kathmandu, which is the capital of the country. The students got access to the government offices, the Supreme Court, ministers, prime ministers' premises, national television, national school, Kathmandu University, as well as they learned a great deal about how to build up a cohort of differing political opinions and, and have a conversation on it. I think in three days we have achieved that. The next class will be in a mountain village. Uh, most of uh, our leaders have never visited a mountain village and when we design a policy uh, those geographies don't come into picture just because we haven't physically been there or seen it. The third class will be in a hilly village so even the youth leaders from mountains and Tarai will get a chance to be in a mountain village for two days and lastly where we'll have the graduation it will be held in a town in Tarai hopefully my hometown, Janakpur, which is going to be the capital of province number two. Despite you belong to different political parties and have your differ differing opinions, which we respect, you'll also know how to talk to each other and hopefully guide the younger lots and the senior leaders and create a communicating platform. At the same time, no longer we will just speak for ourselves, but we will begin to speak for the opposites. This is launched for the first time in Nepal. In fact, this is launched for the first time in the world. And if we are successful by the end of the year, hopefully this model will benefit a lot of countries who are going through conflict or are just emerging from the conflict. Or hopefully it pre helps prevent some countries from going into conflict. I believe today with our 27 leaders here, we have a great potential. I would like to invite a uh, member of parliament from Nepali Congress Party, Chandra Devi Joshi, representing all 27 youths on her impression of this program. I am going to ask you 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 to नेतृत्व अरुलाई वहाँ ले सरी नहीं गाइडलाइंस दिन सकनु होने सब अन्य महिलाएं साली किचु रा जून आज आमी विभिन्न क्षेत्र विभिन्न बारग रा बाट आमी यह उपस्थित भाई का सों आमी अरुलाई क्या आशा सब अन्य आमी सच्ची कई ही जो आमी लाई चाहिए विभिन्न स्थल अरु भारमण करना आमी लाई लॉगे कुतियो त्यहाँ से मलाई एक किसिम को के अनुभूति भयो भने म हिजो आज जति पनि कुराहरु यहाँ पढाइ रहेका छन् म त्यो कुरा प्रति भन्दा पनि म चाहिँ कता कता भावनातिर बगिरहेकी छु म आज म पिछडिएको जिल्ला मेरो बजाङ बाट नेतृत्व गरिरहेको छु र हिजो म काठमाडौँ युनिभर्सिटीमा जब म पुगे र त्यहाँ मैले मन मनै के सोचे भने मेरो बजाङमा जुन अहिले पनि एउटा मान्द्रा सम्म बिछ्याउन नपाएका एउटा स्टुडेन्टले यो युनिभर्सिटीमा आएका स्टुडेन्टसँग कसरी प्रतिस्पर्धामा आउन सक्छन् त भन्ने मलाई यो कुराहरु फिल भयो हामीले प्रजातन्त्र प्राप्त गर्नका लागि हरेक क्षेत्र हरेक वर्गले जति पनि रगत बगाएको छ जति पनि संघर्ष गरेको छ उहाँहरुको लागि हामी चाहिँ एक नासले कहिले यो राज्यले चाहिँ सबैलाई समान व्यवहार हिमाल पहाड तराई कहिले गर्न गर्न सक्ला यो कुरा प्रति हामी सबै जिम्मेवार र ईमानदार हुनै पर्दछ भन्ने मलाई लाग्दछ र हामी भक्कर सिकाइमा छु आज चाहिँ हामीले पनि म एउटा सुदूरपश्चिमको महिला हामीलाई चाहिँ राजनीति कसैले जबरजस्ती धकेलेर पनि हामी आएको हैनौ हामीसँग विभिन्न किसिमका पारिवारिक सामाजिक जिम्मेवार हुँदा हुँदै पनि यो राष्ट्रिय दायित्व पनि हामी हामी माझ आयो कि भन्ने कुराहरु धेरै कुरा नजान्दा नजान्दै पनि सो सो स्फूर्ति हामी चाहिँ राजनीतिमा होमेका छौ हामीलाई कसरी अगाडि बढ्न यहाँहरुले हौसला दिनु हुनेछ र हामीलाई चाहिँ यस भन्दा अगाडि हामीलाई सफल बन्नका लागि एउटा सफल लिडर बन्नका लागि विभिन्न क्षेत्रबाट यहाँहरुले हामीलाई चाहिँ सहयोग प्रदानको पनि फेरि अपेक्षा राख्दै मेरा इन्दुई भनाई यहीं तुन्यासु वास्ता धन्यवाद
अब हमी हमारे विद्यार्थी पनि एक चोटी परिचय कर चाहौ नमस्कार म सतोष पुरगोटी मेरे घर ताप्लेजू मैं विगत कई वर्षदी पत्रकारिता क्षेत्र में क्रियाशील छू रचार मध्यमक क्षेत्र पर समाज परिवर्तन का लगी काम कर थैंक यू नमस्ते म सोमनाथ पोर्तल विश्वकर्मा घर झापा म जिला समन्वय समिति झापा को प्रमुख नेक एमए को एक नंबर प्रदेश कमिटी को सदस्य नमस्कार म योसा यमुना गुरागाई सुनसरी प्रतिनिधित्व कर सामाजिक अभियंता साथ साथ ही नया शक्ति संग आबद्ध छु नमस्कार म कंचना झा मदीची पत्रकार संघ उपत्य समिति को अध्यक्ष सप्तरी अंजु भट्टराई फ्रम खोटांग आई एम एसोसिएटेड विथ अल नेपाल फुटबल एसोसिएसन एज अ भाइस प्रेसिडेन्ट एंड एजुकेटिव मेम्बर अफ ओलंपिक कमिटी थैंक यू भेरी मच नमस्ते संजोग देव सप्तरी एंट्रप्रनर सोशल एक्टिविस्ट नमस्ते मनीष मिश्रा राष्ट्रीय जनता पार्टी नेपाल को विद्यार्थ संघ राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष सरलाई बाट नमस्ते म स्नेहा झा मधेशी पत्रकार संघ को केन्द्रीय सदस्य घर महोत्तरी जिला रिथिलाकर्मी धन्यवाद नमस्ते सपना शाह सरलाई बाट सोशल एक्टिविस्ट थैंक यू नमस्ते ओम लोक सिंह रौतहट बा राष्ट्रीय जनता पार्टी नेपाल को विद्यार्थी संगठन को महासचिव धन्यवाद यहाँ सबजना नमस्ते मंता लामा घर मेरे सिंधु पालचोक मैं नेक एमए को कार्यकर्ता संगसंगे सिंधु पालचोक उद्योग वाणिज्य संघ को सदस्य छु धन्यवाद नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर तेज सु सिंह मल्ल एंड आई एम अप्थामोलॉजिस्ट एंड आई एम द प्रेड एक्स प्रेसिडेंट अफ सोसाइटी अफ एक्स बुड एंड कंट्रोल स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू नमस्ते म सरण श्रेष्ठ गोरखा बा मैद लहन गांव पालिक वार्ड नंबर सात गोरखा को वड़ा अध्यक्ष रेपी कांग्रेस में आबद्ध नमस्ते म अर्जुन लोइटिल घर सेंगजा मैं कृषि को आधुनिकरण में काम कर नमस्कार म पदम पाणी शर्मा घर पर्वत फलेवास नगरपालिक को मेयर नेक जिला कमिटी पर्वत को सचिव नमस्कार म सुमन बोहरा मेरे घर चाहे बागलुंग जिला में पर्द र युवा संघ ने पर्द नंबर चार को सदस्य छु अस्त धन्यवाद सब नमस्कार म भगवती काफ्ले जिला चाहे मेरे गुलमी नेपाली कंग्रेस को महासमिति सदस्य राष्ट्रीय सहकारी विकास बोर्ड को पश्चिमांचल संयोजक धन्यवाद सबजना मेरे नमस्कार मेरे नाम सरिता श्रेष रूपन देवाड़ नेक एमए को जिला कमिटी सदस्य रुवा संघ नेपाल को केन्द्रीय कमिटी सदस्य धन्यवाद नमस्कार म गीता ढकाल राइज अग्नेश रेप को मेम्बर साथ ही कलाकारिता समाज में जनचेतना फैलाने काम करूँ धन्यवाद म हुमलाल नेपाली प्यूठान मल्लरानी गांव कार्यपालिक को सदस्य रखिल नेपाल युवक संघ को केन्द्रीय सदस्य नमस्ते म राज शाही म जुमला रैर सरकार सरकारी संस्था को म काम कर संगसंगे कृषक र कृषक उद्यमी हो कि धन्यवाद नमस्कार म सुधांशु प्रकाश शर्मा म बर्दिया जिला में राजनीतिक स्तर बा जनोत्थान को निम्ति काम कर हाल नेपाली कांग्रेस जिला कार्य समिति बर्दिया को सदस्य हूँ रही म गुलरिया नगरपालिक वार्ड नंबर छ को जन निर्वाचित प्रतिनिधि भी हो धन्यवाद नमस्कार रीता साई हुमला निवर्तमान सांसद नेपाली कांग्रेस नमस्कार म चंद्रा देवी जोशी घर बजांग निवर्तमान सांसद नेपाली कांग्रेस महासमिति सदस्य धन्यवाद नमस्कार म मीना चौधरी जिला कैलाली राष्ट्रीय जनता पार्टी नेपाल र निवर्तमान सांसद रटी को केन्द्रीय सदस्य भी धन्यवाद नमस्ते दिस इज दीपक विष्ट फ्रम बैतड़ी स्पोक पर्सन नेशनल डेमोक्रेटिक स्टूडेंट अर्गनाइजेशन अफ राष्ट्रीय प्रजा जनता पार्टी नमस्ते रेणुचंद बैतड़ी माओवादी केन्द्र को पोलिट ब्यूरो मेम्बर आई नो दैट देर आर सो मेनी लीडर्स इन अवर कंट्री एंड एल्स वेर ऑल्सो बट रियल लीडरशिप लाइक अदर कंट्रीज लैक्स इन अवर कंट्री ऑल्सो बिकॉज no such kind of institution no such kind of programs were find in nepal at that time i know that when i started my social and political career 
there were no such help facility in Nepal. Had it been there, I feel that it would have been, it would have been very beneficial for persons like you. So I feel that in the absence of such kind of program, I lost a lot of things which, which I had, would have done now in my career, in my life. You should keep in mind that you are not a, an individual business. You are going to be leaders of tomorrow and you have to just work for the country, for the unity of the country, for the liberty of the country, for equality, equality in the country, and to establish a state of fraternity in the country. So you have to just turn this world into a very good world, into a peaceful world, into a world that where there is fraternity, where there is equality. So very difficult job. I believe that you will achieve this end and with this world. I wish you every success in life. It's the program which is urgent and which is very, very necessary for this time. Nepali emerging leaders. For me, when you ask me, what is the definition of leaders? Leaders should not put own will at the center point. Rather, leader must put the will of the people in the center point. And there's the saying, if you live for yourself, then you are going to die very soon. But if you live for the sake of others, then you are going to remain forever. Once you take the decision, okay, I'm going to serve the nation, I'm going to work for the people, then that means you need to work, you need to continue your works till the end of your life. Definitely this Leadership Academy is going to produce effective leaders. Those who have the capacity to listen to the grievances of the people and who have the capacity to know the geographical sensitivity, what Mr. Santos was talking. Whether the hill people is going to address and whether going to voice out the problems of the Tarai in the parliament or whether the leaders of Tarai is going to talk about the sensitivity of the hill people. That is and that should be after learning and after being participate in this type of programs. My point here is whether we are able to unite this nation, not just by talking, but by feeling the sensitivity of that very geography from our heart and keeping that into our mind and trying to work together to find the right solutions. Leadership is about finding solutions. Once you are elected by the people, then always remain accountable to the people. Make this nation just full nation, just nation, where everyone gets justice. And to make this nation inclusive nation, where all the people from different ethnic backgrounds should get their right representation. And they should get their participation at every walk of life. Then only this nation can be peaceful nation. यहाँ विभिन्न राजनीतिक बैकग्राउंड को आमी उपस्थिति भाई का सों इवन संतोष लिया कि वनुवो 
कि मैं चाहूला कुछ पार्टी में इन्वल्व नगरिकन मैं एटा तटस्थ रहना सके रही अलग समन्वयकर्ता को भूमिका एटा राम कोडिनेटर को भूमिका खेल खेल सफल भर सतोष ने आपने क्षमता यहाँ प्रदर्शन गयो हमी मैटा पार्टी को बैकग्राउंड को कुन कुन पार्टी को हो तर हम उद्देश्य सब को उद्देश्य ये खेल अब हमीर द्वंद्व कलात्मक ढंग ने व्यवस्थापन ग्य अब यह देश में प्र पर्याप्त मात्रा में प्रकृति ने दिखे स्रोत साधन अब हम काम तीर चाह जानूपो हम स्रोतर रामस परिचालन कर हमीर चाह आर्थिक उन्नति तीर लग्न पो दिगो विस तीर लग्न पो अम हम यथास्थिति अलिकति समुदाय रकारी नि परिचालन करना विद्यमान नियम का विस्थापन करें तुरंत ही नई नया छिटो छरितो सरल का बना पो रोक ये खेल हमी राजनीतिक परिवर्तन को लगी संघर्ष ग्यौं अब आर्थिक रूपांतरण को लगी के एक दुई तीन हम एजेंडा होगी उद्योग वाणिज्य संघ का सदस्य अंतला में परिचय दिखा खेल मैं गर्व लगे यहाँ महिला साथी अलिकति राजनीति में सक्रिय हो गर्व लगने कुरा हो तर हम महिला को क्षेत्र में धर पड़ी पड़े रुवा पलायन रोक महिला रामी जातीय द्वंद्व में व्यवस्थापन कर राजनीतिक व्यवस्थापन जो द्वंद्व व्यवस्थापन गये अब हमें चाहे आर्थिक रूपांतरण में लग्न पर्च रही अने युवा नेतृत्व को मुख्य भूमिका हो अ युवाला इसी नहीं हिमाल पहाड़ तराई को जो उदयम नेतृत्व इसी समन्वय कर एक ठा में लिया अलफल करा एटा अलिकति ओपन अलग खुला ढंग ने नजिक आने जो पहल यो कार्यक्रम से निरंतर कर हमारे तराई में हिमाल में पहाड़ में इसी जी हमी एक अर् को नजिक होमीप्य हो सहकार अगड़ी बढ़ना भी सहज हो रब को जिम्मा युवा पुस्तक को हो नमस्कार अब को युवा पंक्ति पोजिटिव माइंड का साथ यहाँ सहभागी होना जरूरी है अत्र हमें राजनीति सदै सफा बना सकता आज यो लीडरशिप अध्ययन कार्यक्रम में सब पार्टी बा महिला लीडर्स मैं यहाँ देखे मैं रुकुम पूर्व को प्रतिनिधि सभा को प्रत्यक्ष तर्फ बा मजय भर आकु पेलो चरण को बत्तीसवटा जिला में वाम गठबंधन को तर्फ बा एक्ल महिला उम्मीदवार मैदान में उतरे थे रो त्यो मैदानसम उतरन को निति अथवा राजनीति निरंतरता दिन को निति दस बाहर वर्ष देखि अल्लेम राजनीति में निरंतरता दिन को निति हमी सब अथवा अज विशेषकर महिला संघर्ष करना जरूरी हमी को कुछ पार्टी नर एक पार्टी को सही विचार मैं सिलेक्ट कर समर्थन भी कर फेरी यो कार्यक्रम राख्भ आयोजक मित्र धन्यवाद दू सतोष डैनिल धन्यवाद I'm so proud to partner with Santosh and the Leadership Academy and the University of San Diego, the Kroc Institute for Peace and Justice. I understand that uh, colleagues and uh, participants, that many of you are from the political sphere, and I want to recognize that especially, of course, at this point in time in history, that it is the political sphere to which we look for our leadership. And I find myself in different countries in my own uh, working environment speaking to many uh, people in politics. And there is one thing that I do actually um, encourage, and that is for political leaders to make promises in public. And uh, that is so that the uh, public can help uh, politicians and political leaders keep their promises. 
Um, so many times in life we make promises that in fact in reality we cannot keep and this enables us to explain why, why we cannot keep them in public. And I think for me this is the definition of accountability, that we be able to track our promises made, to keep account of what promises we make that we can keep and that we cannot keep all the while giving uh, explanations. Leadership is in fact not a position, but it is a function. We have many people in positions of leadership where we assume they are leaders, but in fact they might be very poor leaders. And if we understand that leadership is in fact a function, we understand that it's in fact a responsibility that we all and every one of us share. As a leader, we ask people, individuals and groups, where are you now in life and where would you like to go? And this is because the measure of your leadership, the measure of leadership is the leadership in which you foster others. Many constitutions around the world, many people and many leaders around the world called for equality. And in fact, around the world when I've had my conversations, people say we don't have a problem with gender equality, we don't have a problem with social exclusion, we are all equal, look at our constitution. And of course our reply is look at the numbers, look at the numbers, look at the numbers, because when we look at people in leadership, political leadership, photographs, any newspaper, when we take a look at what's happening, generally speaking we will see the numbers are dominated by men. So we have studied what does it take for women to advance in leadership. And one of the things that is very key for women is certainly the mentoring that this program advances. If you take a look historically, informal mentoring has been that push that has enabled men to succeed. And we are seeing this as a tool, uh, certainly, that women can also benefit from. For those of you who have been selected in this program, let us make no doubt you are a very, very special cohort to receive this kind of attention. And there is a message embedded in your selection, the same message that is given to politicians. And the message is exactly what helps women succeed in political life. Thank you very much. Our goal is that the emerging leaders who are part of this program are working together to make their communities better, to meet the needs of all of their community members, and to create a more peaceful and prosperous Nepal uh, for all of its citizens. So how are we doing that? Well, I understand that today is Saraswati, a day of prayer for the goddess of education. And it seems to me then a very auspicious day for us to launch the Nepali Emerging Leaders Program. Um, because knowledge, learning is a key part of what we're going to do together. But as Winnie said, it doesn't help if we all are smart in a room by ourselves. So the other key part of the Nepali Emerging Leaders Program is that we're creating a cohort. We're creating a group of individuals who are going to be able to work together to support each other and to tackle these challenges that they're working on. One thing that we've heard a lot of today is about legacy, about leaving something behind after we're gone, and about that being the real key of leadership. The Honorable Mrs. Yadav said, live for others and you will remain forever, um, which I really like that line. Um, after you're gone, uh, nobody remembers you if you've only been living for yourself. If you've been really working to better your communities, uh, then your legacy continues. So I really want to thank all of you for being here today to help us launch the Nepali Emerging Leaders Program, um, to all of our distinguished mentors and consultants um, and other guests who have joined us, um, and most importantly, to our 27 participants, um, who are the ones who are going to be carrying the load here, who are going to be doing the hard work over the next 12 months. So thank you to all of you. Thank you.